Hey guys, so this is my first vlog in quite a while and I'm doing it on 8 tips for events. I hope you guys enjoy! Okay, tip number one is if you have a long wig like this one or like my Luca one, for the love of all that is cosplay, bring a wig home. There is nothing worse than getting home and realizing that your wig is a big mess of knots and having to spend hours upon hours trying to fix it. Nothing worse. For free comic book day, free comic book day, when I cosplayed Urza, we carried around a wig home for me. And Sarah, Sai spent like every five minutes combing out my wig. It was a little bit annoying, but I'm really grateful that when I got home, I didn't have to spend like the entire night trying to comb it out. So yeah, wig combs, good idea. Tip number two is getting your poses right. Posing is pretty much just as important as the costume itself. It's no good having a fantastic, elaborate costume and not knowing what to do and standing there awkwardly when someone tries to take a photo of you. It's not flattering at all. If you want to get the essence of a character across, it's very important to get the pose right. I recommend just spending a little bit of time in front of your mirror just practicing like what the character would do. Also, what is helpful is to look at what other cosplayers do, and even just reference pictures of the character. Um, I often look at other cosplayers just to see what sort of vibe they do. You don't have to do the exact same pose as another cosplayer, or the exact same pose as a reference picture, just to get their personality so you can decide what pose you want to do on your own. Tip number three is really important. It's very important to bring an emergency kit. Pack a small bag with eyelash glue, contact solution, maybe even just an extra little bit of makeup, pins, safety pins, anything that you think could help in the face of trouble. It's disastrous to have your costume fall apart like in the middle of a convention or an event. It's luckily never happened to me, but it's something I really would like to avoid. So yeah, emergency kits are also a very, very good idea, just in case. Also, if someone else's costume falls apart and they don't have an emergency kit, you can help them out. That's what the community is all about. If you're going to be doing a lot of walking, then my advice is to cosplay something comfortable. For example, if you're going to walk around the whole day, like, not resting at all, do not wear high heels. They may look nice, but hell, they are uncomfortable after a few hours. Like, they make your feet ache for like a day afterwards. I know sometimes uncomfortable cosplays can look nice, and if you want to do them, you can, don't get me wrong. But, as I said, it gets very, very just uncomfortable after a while. Have a way to carry all your stuff. First choice is to sew real pockets into your cosplay. You can never have enough real, co real pockets. Second choice, I suppose, is bringing a bag Although you'll have to like set it down and stuff whenever someone wants to take photos and it can just get a little bit irritating after a while. So y you can do it. Um, third choice is bring a friend with, like someone who'll be willing to carry around your stuff all day. It's really, really useful. Like, so useful. I'm um, don't saying abuse your friends, like, no. But as I said, it can, it's just very convenient, which means you don't have to like carry like tons of stuff, your emergency kit, your comb, anything else, your money, along with all your props and stuff. If you want to actually buy stuff at the event, don't, like me, spend all of your money on costume. Obviously, you know, it should be obvious, you won't be able to buy anything if you have no money. Be as frugal as possible, cut corners wherever you can, obviously without, um, taking away from the quality of your cosplay but for example if you have two fabrics one's like a hundred round a meter and one's like ten round a meter go for the ten round a meter like just that way you'll be able to save as much money as possible and you'll be able to buy more stuff at your convention or event or whatever wear freaking weather appropriate cosplay do not make the same mistake as me and do Urza, her flame hakama, with no shirt, just some bandages, in the middle of winter. 
seriously bad idea. During my photo shoot, I like froze to death. And don't also cosplay as someone like CL, who has like multiple layers, like a jacket, in the middle of summer. I was dying in the October picnic when I did CL. Bad idea. Tip number eight is also quite an important tip. If you're a first timer, then it's quite a good idea to bring a friend with. I mean, obviously, don't cling to them the entire time because then you won't get to meet anyone, but it just saves you numbers. You'll feel more comfortable and you're more likely to like the whole vibe of the place. Um, that way you can maybe also get your friend into cosplay. Win-win. So yeah, bring friends. Anyway, that's it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed and found it useful. I'll hopefully be making more vlogs once exams are over and be doing more um, sewing in progress and stuff like that. Uh, if you guys have any requests for tutorials or vlogs or anything like that, please um, let me know in the comments below or on my Facebook page. Um, you can find the link on my YouTube channel or in the description. And um, yeah, that's it for me. Bye, guys!